So today I'd like to chat with you and share with you a really neat strategy for how to collect an additional fifteen to thirty thousand dollars extra out of every single wholesale deal that you do. Now before I jump into this tip and the strategy that you've got to implement, if you don't know me, my name is Todd Tobeck and I've wholesaled more than 1,000 houses and 95% of those houses were locked up by somebody on my team and not by me personally. I specialize in transforming real estate hustlers into real estate business owners that own an asset that throws off cash month after month after month without their personal day-to-day -day involvement. Now, if you have not been to my site, make sure you head on over there. I've got a gift for you, nextlevelwholesaling.com, nextlevelwholesaling.com. There's an assessment there that you've got to take, and I took it. I created it basically to score myself in the four core areas of my business, acquisition, um, marketing, disposition, and cash flow accounting. Now, uh, you're going to take this is really going to open your eyes on the really uh, the next step you need to take to really start to extract yourself out of your business to add stability to your company to start to extract cash flow on a regular basis and to really cut your working time in half. So head over to next level wholesaling dot com. Download the assessment. It will definitely be worth your time. That is my gift to you. All right. So Let's talk about this tip that is going to allow you to extract an additional fifteen to thirty thousand um, dollars from every single wholesale deal that you do. Okay, and that is by wholesaling deals to yourself. Hmm. What do you mean wholesale deals to yourself? <laughs> well, let me tell you about a deal that I just did down in uh, South San Diego, and it was a property that uh, we bought from an inheritance situation and uh, one of my favorite types of deals is when a family member is living in the property and we're able to buy that house and take over that problem for a seller. So uh, we recently bought this house. We uh, did a cash for keys agreement with the occupant. And uh, one of the great things that uh, I saw about this property was I knew that just the way that it was, uh, you know, it, it needed a lot of work, but there was a big gap from what I could wholesale it for, from what it was, what we could fix and flip it for. So let me tell you what we did, okay? Is that sometimes, uh, and, and we didn't do this, sometimes people will joint venture with a rehabber, someone who fix, uh, fixes properties uh, and resells them. So what they do is sometimes you get a wholesaler and a fix and flipper and they combine forces and they uh, split the profits after the fix and flipper flips it. Well, that's kind of an old way, and a lot of people don't like to do that because they realize that if they would have wholesaled the property, they would have made more money, and that is very, very, very true, right? If you sell your properties for top dollar and you have a uh, competitive buyer's list, which I highly recommend, okay? Make sure, uh, make sure that uh, you've got your cash buyers fighting over your properties and that you're creating a competitive situation. Um, but if you're doing that, you should be able to wholesale it for top dollar and make more than if you would have partnered with someone who would have fixed and flipped it. Now, how am I going to teach you how to make an extra 15 to 30? Well, let me teach you a little twist on this that will enable you to make a top, 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 top wholesale fee, okay? And then make an additional 15 to $30,000 on every single deal that you do. So here's what I recommend that you do, and this is on a deal that we just did. So uh, what we did on this house was I actually wholesaled it to a partnership between me and the uh, rehabber. Okay, and so uh, I bought this property for three fifty six, and I wholesaled it to our partnership for four hundred and five thousand dollars okay so sixty six seventy six eighty six ninety six um oh five okay so i i'm gonna keep about forty five to fifty thousand dollars right off the top that goes right to me now i have some closing costs associated with that but let's just call it forty thousand dollars so that forty thousand dollars goes directly to my company as pure profit okay now um i've extracted that money okay and that's mine now the rehabber because there's not a lot of inventory right now. Well, now uh, you could fund it or they could fund the fix and, uh, the flip. All right. But now we need $50,000 to uh, fix the property. He's going to fund the $50,000. I could if I needed to, but he's going to fund uh, the majority of the rehab. He's going to fix it. He's going to manage it. He's going to deal with it. Okay. And everything above the 405, everything above the 405 after holding cost and real estate commission, uh, cost and selling cost, we are going to split 
50 50 so on this deal i should net an additional fifteen thousand dollars and he'll probably make uh, about fifteen thousand dollars plus a real estate commission if he's going to list it okay so what did i do well instead of just partnering with a rehabber i wholesaled it to a partnership i extracted a wholesale fee off the top now that wholesale fee is right at the top of the market right right at the top of the market i took that 100 percent profit mine then I partnered with a rehabber, okay? And uh, he's going to fund the rehab above what we need to fix this thing. He's gonna fund it, he's gonna fix it, he's gonna flip it, okay? We're gonna split the profits 50-50 above that original purchase price to the partnership. Now, here's the best part, okay? When, when you uh, uh, partner with an experienced rehabber, all right, they will fix it, they should be able to fix it in four to six weeks. Uh, they should have the speed, the contacts, the energy, right? They have all the systems. They operate their thing like a machine, and that's the kind of rehabber that you should be partnering with, right? Speed, 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 speed. Now, um, it's funny because even if I were to buy this property and clean it out and do some work to it, I probably couldn't rehab it nearly as fast as he could doing a full gut job. So that's the power of leverage, right? I don't have to hire my rehab crews. I don't have to run to Home Depot and pick out, you know, the finishing and the back splashes. Ay, 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 ay. No bueno. Not for me. All right. So the great thing again is that you're being a deal. Uh, you're putting the deal, deal together, the, the, the deal together. <laughs> you're leveraging others. You're partnering. You know, sometimes uh, partnering is even better than hiring an employee right? And that's what we did here. So my action item for you, right? Get the list of uh, your buyers who might want to partner with you. Have a conversation, have lunch, explain that you'd like to wholesale your properties to uh, your partnership together, right? Explain what you're trying to doing. Tell them that you need to extract that money out, right? Now, by the way, you may say, is the rehabber going to let you sell this property to the partnership for top dollar? Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Explain that you're not that you're bringing value by bringing the property and anything below, right? That top market value that you're going to wholesale it to, that needs to be yours. Now, some will, some won't. So what? Right? Some what? Now, this is actually a technique that I teach in my no limit selling system. Be a truth teller, truth seeker. Be upfront. Tell them that uh, the the market is tight, right? And that uh, inventory is tight. And that guess what? You don't have to wholesale your properties all the time right? And that you could sell them to who you want. So that's my recommendation to you. Build some relationship, create a competitive environment, wholesale them to a partnership, extract that money up front, have the rehab or fund it. Guess what? In uh, 30, 40 days, um, your, uh, uh, your property will be rehabbed. Okay. Now, again, you may say, who's going to uh, buy the property? Um, you know, you could buy it or they could buy it. Uh, it's all negotiable on the back end. Maybe you could pay them a little bit of interest if they paid uh, for a cash for the property, but it's all negotiable. Just make sure you extract your wholesale fee up front. So if you want to learn how to uh, start to double your profits, you want to work less hours, you want to start to build a team and not be a one-man show, you want a business throws off cash month after month after month, you want to improve your sales skills, um, head over to nextlevelwholesaling.com if you want to apply to be one of our coaching students in our Next Level Wholesaling coaching program. You can get the assessment, but also go to nextlevelwholesaling.com and apply to see if you got what it takes. All right, talk to you soon, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.